Now, if you're a guy who closes his shoulder separation early, or you've heard that you have early torso rotation, or your sequence between the pelvis, the torso, and the arm gets all messed up, this would be a great one for you to try out. Putting his back foot up on the box, uh, so he is maintaining contact with the ground through his lead foot, and that's where most of his uh, weight is. Uh, and then he'll go ahead and throw from there, basically getting all that uh, ground contact and pulling uh, the pelvis through with that lead leg. Again, focusing on making sure that his pelvis rotates after the foot gets into the ground. Still that same sequence, you wanna see the pelvis rotate, then the torso rotate, then the arm rotate. Uh, the only difference between this and a normal throw is you don't have to work between the transition of from the back leg to the front leg. We're just starting on that front leg and we'll get to that transition later.